Hello and welcome to Cars 100 and in today's review I have a 2021 Volkswagen Atlas Cross Sport SEL V6 R-Line. We're gonna look at this car from the outside, go inside and check out some of the features that this car comes with. So let's not waste any more time and let's jump into it. Okay, let's start from the outside first. As you can see this front Cross Sport is a new vehicle for Volkswagen. It has been out already for two years. This is 2021 version and it's an R-Line package. As you can see, this car looks very sharp with this dark gray color as well. It's kind of a Audi Narduk. As you know, uh, Volkswagen owns Audi as well. So the colors are similar and it suits this car very well. You have a lot of chrome accents around the car but you get them in a nicely designed package and you have this R badge here brand new R badge and you have this nice IQ light as well as you can see here you have the LEDs and xenon by xenon lights up front you have this nice uh, looking chrome shape for the R version of this car as well and it looks uh, pretty cool in terms of the design and some of the you know fender uh, kind of um, protection here and it's been a little bit off-road uh, truck it looks uh, nice for these aspects and as you can see here you have uh, Pirelli Scorpion Zero all-season tires these are 265 45 are 21 inch rims as you can see here all around and we have nice cross sport badge here in a chrome package nice Volkswagen logo here as well and um, overall if we go around you have a keyless entry as well from the back doors which is very convenient as we go around you have some of the chrome aspects and it's kind of a you know goes together with this color and the rims as well it suits this car as we go around you have this nice LED IQ light in the back as well as you can see uh, Volkswagen has done a nice engineering incorporating this design aspects with these 3D looking lights and it looks sharp at night as well when you're behind this truck you know that this is new Atlas cross port as you can see here this is SEL V6 badge you have exhausts that are under the uh, bumper they are not in this housing here this is full motion uh, which is all-wheel drive system by Volkswagen and as we go around here we have a gas pack gas cap which is quite large as you can see here and um, you know overall the dimensions of this uh, truck are really nice it is a little bit smaller than uh, Atlas it is uh, Atlas cross sport so it's a smaller dimension truck but it looks sporty which is most important aspect so for a younger crowd and those who want to look sharp in driving this truck really gonna go for this truck let's check out this car on the interior in order to enter this nice atlas cross sport we have this key fob here as you can see this is a redesigned key fob this year and i would think uh, for this truck in general and as you can see you have a volkswagen logo here which is a brand new volkswagen logo little bit sharper looking we can lock the car unlock the car trunk release button which is automatic and we have a remote start we have to lock the car first and then click twice and second time when you press the remote start key you have to hold it down and the vehicle will start and we can also lock the car with this as you can see the grooved edge here and we can also unlock the car by the door open the handle sensor behind it and just like this we can enter this Atlas cross port and as you can see it's a very premium car soft touch materials everywhere you have nice trim design here as well which is kind of a sporty carbon fiber look but it's more of a checkered uh, type of um, you know cross uh, pattern here as you can see and you have a fender audio system which is optional and this car being a fully loaded car uh, with over fifty-three thousand uh, dollars it has all the features you have automatic up and down for all four sides of the window uh, as you can see here and we can also fold the side mirrors from this uh, 
option here from this key and you have nice stitching here nice soft touch materials uh, there is hard plastic material but I always justify it for every car that is an SUV as being utility utilitarian feeling and this car is no different you have the speaker housing on the bottom as well and overall it's a big um, I would say door card here but it's a it's not a small uh, vehicle either and as we go around you have this large entrance here very comfortable even though this vehicle is high off the ground you still have nice kind of a um, you know step in height here and you have a nice um, uh, door sill here as well which kind of surprisingly doesn't have anything on it would be interesting if it was atlas here or cross port ridden you have nice pedals that are also aluminum on top of them as being an extra option as well you have some pockets here for the storage but overall I would say it is looking nice in terms of the seating as you can see you have some bolstering quite large bolstering I would say as this being cross sport and our design it really kind of suits this uh, truck you have nice bolstering up top as well this seat reminds me very much of a uh, Volkswagen Jetta GLI as well as the Volkswagen Golf GTI you have a nice memory seating option here as well for three drivers and you have some controls for the uh, automatic seating here as well I always call Volkswagen uh, cars uh, and trucks uh, as being a German Toyota vehicles and it's a compliment because they are very durable cars first impression in terms of the steering wheel as you can see it's a flat bottom once again the R design logo here is uh, very kind of a suiting uh, as this car being a cross sport as well and you have lots of options uh, lots of buttons on the steering wheel so this is adaptive cruise control options here on the left of the steering wheel as well as the uh, you know volume buttons here you also have this section here to control that digital infotainment display up front here we can have a different views so when we press this button we have uh, full navigation which will be shown there just like uh, you know Audi cars uh, once again Audi and Volkswagen are very similar in their design but Audi looks a little bit more in terms of the design and in terms of uh, how it uh, presents uh, itself uh, that uh, you know appeal of the digital cluster but you have different views here so when we press this button we have different options that we can go through and as I'm going through them we have this digital kind of a analog kind of a, a screen and a kind of a layout and it looks really nice so you have the you know uh, you have this option to kind of manipulate this uh, section of the car but at the same time it shows you uh, many aspects like navigation in the middle of it as well as the when we go into view you have the full navigation there it is a very convenient feature when you drive this car you feel that it's from future it is a very nice uh, idea that Volkswagen and Audi uh, have been able to do much better than what BMW is doing with just a blend uh, kind of a map on the background also you have this perforation a very nice Audi premium look here and you have a 10 and 2 as well and you have a nice logo which is redesigned for this year and it looks really cool really modern and you have this navigation here this navigation has a very good uh, input sensor so in terms of the input con controls and uh, how it reacts to your touch it's a very modern as you can see it's a very slick looking navigation as well you can go into menu you have many different options you can go into vehicle options you can see what's going on in terms of the mile per gallon you can go into off-road abilities and you have different options for the um, you know how the car behaves when you drive it you see here that it has some elevation options here that you can see and you can also uh, get the you know different layouts so you can choose these to you know they adjust them the way you want it so you you don't have to have it the way it's set up you can customize it basically and when you go into car you can have different uh, you know digital cockpit view so you have the auto and you have a view one 
you have a view too so you can customize it from the infotainment screen here you have nice options for the you know top of the dash here uh, there is no uh, heads up display you have here options for the storage which is rubber lined as well you have a premium audio system by fenders speakers up there as well you have this transmission lever here which is very good you have two modes you can go into d and you can go into sport you have the ability to manipulate the gears yourself as you can see here and you have the option to have uh, you know different modes so the, the modes that are in this car are mostly off-road modes you can have you know different modes just like auto and you have customizable when you go into customizable you can adjust many different aspects of this car as you can see here a very uh, big amount of uh, customization options here you know the sport abilities as well for this car so steering drivetrain differences in how this car behaves in terms of the aspects of uh, you know you can also go into sport the driving in the sport will make this car the most sensitive in terms of the thr throttle inputs it will hold the gear and it will be a better experience in, tr in terms of the performance driving for this car in terms of the climate control options it's really good you have two screens here small screens for your temperature and it feels really uh, you know premium it feels like Audi it feels like and it's a good thing because Volkswagen is a sub brand uh, Audi is a sub brand of Volkswagen you have USB type C options here as well inside uh, this kind of a section here there is no um, I would say option that you can connect uh, uh, regular USB type A but uh, I think USB type C is better you also have a wireless charging here pad so you can just leave your phone here and it will char charge automatically which is very nice wirelessly you have big cup holders here as you can see very convenient uh, large cup holders you have uh, the ability to see the surround camera here as you can see this view for the camera and the way it is set up it's very comfortable when you park when you drive overall I would say it's one of the best features in this car you also have the option here for the storage as you can see you can just leave uh, you know lots of uh, items here a very large amount of storage and you have a USB type-c just for charging here uh, as well you have a glove box which is quite large you have a, a, a quite roomy glove box here there is a nice trim that goes around you have this uh, panoramic sunroof which is a very nice feature and now let's check out the back seats in order to enter the back seats you have the keyless entry on the back doors as well so you have the key fob in your pocket and you can lock and unlock through the back doors as well which is very convenient luxury feature and this car has it you have the sunshades here which are really nice you have storage here and you have storage here as well book pocket and uh, bottle pocket are quite large you have same stitching and you have this uh, hard plastic uh, kind of up top it would be nice if this was soft touch material like up front you have the fender audio system badge here as well and you have two speakers just like up front you have stitching as you can see here which is nicely integrated overall you have this seating option here and quite large entrance as well and there is a lot of room in the back of this truck and even if the seat is all the way back you still have a lot of room so it's a quite large SUV uh, for the rear passengers as well as you can see there is no hump here in the middle section as well there's USB type C's that are located on the bottom and you have a you can push down like this and you have the actual outlet there that you can connect um, you know your actual outlet just like at home two heated seats in the back as well so you can have two options for each seat in terms of the middle section for the handrest as you can see here it's a brand new car and you have uh, behind this plastic you have three cup holders so you have a little cup holder I guess little uh, holder here for the Red Bull something a little bit bigger than Red Bull I would say and you have two cup holders here now let's check out the trunk space in terms of the trunk space you have to have the key fob in your pocket and you can press once under the Atlas logo and just like this you will automatically open this trunk and as you can see it's a big trunk in this SUV you also have the section here on the floor of the trunk to have your 
subwoofer for the fender system as well as the spare tire and overall there is a lot of space you can also fold down these seats to have even more space and i would say it also includes some of the volkswagen cargo protection system as well as the floor mats and as well as the road size assistance kit this car comes with to the trailer hitch package in the back that tows uh, this car can tow uh, for that trailer 5,000 pounds so as you can see here it is a very uh, convenient feature for those who use this car uh, to you know tow a boat or another vehicle it's very convenient let's check out what's under the hood I hope you enjoyed today's review of this 2021 Volkswagen Atlas Crossport SEL V6 R-Line. If you have any questions about this particular car, please leave a comment and I will get back to you. And I'll see you next time. Stay loving cars.